Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe. I am here today to show you the substitution method in algebra. Have you ever seen a system of equations and wanted to find out how to solve the problem? I'm going to show you how. Behind me is a system of equations. We have 2x minus y is equal to 5. And we have x plus 4y is equal to 7. This is the steps for solving the system. We first want to number the equations. That's always going to be helpful. Next, we want to pick an equation and solve for a variable. In this case, it doesn't matter if we pick equation 1 or equation 2. However, we always want to look for the equation that has a 1 for a coefficient. In this case, let's choose the second equation and solve for x. So we're going to choose equation 2, and we're going to solve for x. So if we take this equation, we subtract 4y from both sides, this becomes x is equal to negative 4y plus 7. We now call this new result equation 3. Now, we originally manipulated the second equation. With our result, what we want to do is substitute 4, negative 4y plus 7 into place of x in the equation that we haven't touched yet. We're going to now put equation 3 into the first equation. This is the first equation we haven't touched yet. So, 2x minus y is equal to 5. Now what we do is we put this value, which is negative 4y plus 7, in place of x. We make sure and write our parentheses. And we distribute the 2. We get negative 8y plus 14 minus y is equal to 5. We combine the like terms, the negative 8y minus the y gives us negative 9y plus 14 is equal to 5. We subtract 14 from both sides. And we see that negative 9y, if you can see it here, negative 9y gives us this result, which is 5 minus 14 gives us negative 9. We now solve for y by dividing both sides by negative 9. And y is equal to 1. Now, we're not done. The system of equations requires two results. It requires an x and it requires a y. So what we do now is we place our result here that we got, which is y equals 1, into equation 3 to find out our other variable. So now... We take equation 3, which is x is equal to negative 4y plus 7, and we substitute 1 in place of y, and so we have negative 4 plus 7 will give us our x value, and our x value here becomes 3. So our overall result for this entire system is where both the x and the y location is where both of these lines cross. So this is 3, 1. So once again, what we want to do for the substitution method is we want to number our problems, pick an equation, solve for a variable, and once we solve for a variable, we call our result equation 3. We now put equation 3 into the equation that we haven't manipulated yet, we solve for a variable. Once we get our result, we place it back into equation 3 to find out our other variable. And now we find our result, which is an x and y value. I am Olympia LaPointe. I show you how math can be easy. Go to my website, mathophobia.com.